would say in the state of unified awareness, if there's no inner and outer, then nobody's doing anything to anybody. And there's another thing that's fascinating about that, is Jesus says in the, in the workbook, you know, when you go into this state, the body will not feel at all. There will be no feeling of feeling well or ill. Um, mm. Because again, when the mind is healed, then there's no projection onto the body. Now for most of us, in the human condition, we would say the body feels, you know. And when we say, I, I have a headache, it's meaning the body has a headache, or I have a migraine, and so forth. But, but as you go deeper into unified awareness, you, you start to realize that the mind tells the body what to feel. And when the mind's conflicted about itself, when it has forgotten the Christ, then it projects pain onto the body as if the body is feeling. It's a pretty convincing trick. It's, it's a pretty, to the ego, and the mind believes in the ego, it's very convincing. It seems like bodies feel, it feels like, like characters are not just characters in a dream, like they're, mm -hmm. they're real. Just like in dreams at nighttime, they all seem very real while you're dreaming them. And that's what makes it so convincing. That's why it's a course in mind training. An untrained mind can accomplish nothing. The mystics, the saints, the yogis are really training into this unified awareness. So, so Jesus like what would happen to you, David, if you burn your finger? Well, burn my finger is is a hypothetical, and I'm here to teach. That's what we've been talking about the whole day. That that when we go into hypotheticals, that's where we go into error. When you come back to the present moment, burn finger, present moment, okay, you start to see that, that the present moment is calling us into a, a unified awareness where there are no burning fingers. Mm -hmm. and there never has been. And the separation never happened and you know, all that good stuff of atonement. So when we ask the question, it's as if in the past there were burning fingers and there were David's. And then you ask the question, what would happen? See how it's a future mm -hmm. projection of something that is believed to have occurred. And both of them are part of this distortion that keeps the mind at bay from the, the holy instant. Mm -hmm. So one time, I had a philosopher in, um, in Pensacola, Florida ask me the, the question, I was talking about defenselessness, in my defenselessness my safety lies. And he was saying, well that all sounds really good, but let me ask you a practical question. You're traveling with this woman, Beverly. If you're walking down the streets of Pensacola and somebody comes up and grabs her and starts to strangle her, how defenseless are you going to be with your friend at that moment? You know, this was the philosophers. <laughs> the philosophers, they you know, really try to stick it to you. And I said, well, I said, Fred, that's, thank you for asking that question, but that's a hypothetical. And for me, as I've followed the guidance of the Holy Spirit and trusted, and traveled around the world and gone to third world countries and done all the things I've done, it's in a state of present moment trust. You know, trust would settle every problem now. I will let, I will step back and let him lead the way. There's nothing that trust will not solve. You know, we'll let present trust direct the way and so forth. That is not just kind of an intellectual thing, that's an actuality. That what I'm saying is when you trust in the Holy Spirit and you align your mind with the Holy Spirit, you align with the state of fearlessness. You align with the state of invulnerability where you are completely safe in Aligning with spirit, because why? Because spirit <coughs> is in a state of invulnerability. Spirit is not vulnerable. There's nothing that could threaten spirit. When you align your mind with that, then, then you experience that invulnerability. And then the world that seems to play out, whatever you're perceiving, reflects that invulnerability. So it's a sense of safety, there's not a sense of, of fearing consequences that were believed before or that could occur mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. You know, you can let go of things like like health insurance and lots of planning and defending 
goes in physically and psychologically with this feeling of something's not safe and something needs to be protected. This, if you're identified with this body, then you can see where protection seems to be a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. The more you identify with spirit, or what we call the present moment, that's where that state of complete invulnerability, of defenselessness comes in, meekness, all the things that Jesus taught. Mm -hmm. So it's really coming back into the present moment. That's been our whole theme, is that that's the answer to everything. Mm 